With over 11,000 cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! training card game, it's impossible to know every single one of them. With this series, I'll be trying to shed some lights on cards that didn't register on anyone's radar, so let's find Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems. Hello everyone, Jaco here and I welcome you to Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Unpolished Gems, a series in which I take a look at a very specific card from all the 11,000 in the game that people most likely forgot about and analyze them. Today's topic is a dueling staple and actually saw play in the competitive level in the TCG as well which is something new for this series, so without further ado, let's ask our heralds to send something to the Abyss. Herald of the Abyss is a normal spell, first printed as Super L in Soul Fusion all the way back in October 2018, and since then got one reprint as an ultra rare in 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Megatense. It has seen competitive play during late 2018 and early 2019. The last recorded usage of this card is in the topping decks from the Altuna Regionals in two lists that got to the top 8 of the tournament. Paleozoic Frogs piloted by Kazdin Lash and Sky Striker in the hands of Elise Chase Davis. It's not hard to see why this card was used when you look at the effect. Pay 1500 life points and declare one monster type and attribute. Your opponents must send one face of monster of the declared type and attribute from the field to the graveyard if possible. For the rest of the turn, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with the send monster's name. You can only activate one Herald of the Abyss per turn. The great strength of this card comes from two things. It's non-targeting, non-destruction and removal, and the fact it's not applied to the monster, but to the player. The first one is quite self-explanatory, there's a lot of cards that cannot be targeted or float upon destruction. Herald of the Abyss bypasses both of those, making it for a very powerful piece of removal. However, it's the fact that the card affects the player and not the monster, which is the stronger and the reason it saw competitive play in various side decks. For those of you who don't remember, prior to 28th of January 2019, the format was played with decks playing number 86, Heroic Champion Rongo Miniat, a rank 4 Xyz monster that, if he had more than 3 materials, it was unaffected by other card effects, and if he had more than four, it prevented the opponent from sending monsters, making it the job of removing it from play rather difficult. Herald of the Abyss bypasses both of those restrictions by affecting the player and not the monster, and by being a spell, making for a very powerful piece of removal of various bosses. Additionally, since the cost of activating this card is paying 1500 life points, declaring a type and attribute, Herald of the Abyss can also be used to bait a negation, making things a little bit easier for the user when it comes to breaking and established board. The fact Herald of the Abyss is a normal spell is quite diminishing. In the current meta, the only good spells are actually quick play ones, since they can also provide an additional layer of disruption, something that Herald lacks. Not only that, but it can also take care of only one monster, while the regular board you'll be staring at has at least two, or three. Still, the biggest downside to Herald of the Abyss comes from the fact it's very format dependent. Unless there's one very clear threat that has to be outed, Herald of the Abyss is not that powerful. When it comes to usage, since it doesn't require any specific cards, it can be used in basically anything. However, from how this card has been used in the past, as I mentioned previously, it seems to be side-decked when the format starts resolving around one very strong monster that's very difficult to deal with. As mentioned previously, Herald of the Abyss had two printing, in Soul Fusion as a super rare and in 2019 Megatons as an ultra. The Soul Fusion printing is fetching an average price of about one buck, while the Megaton one goes for about one and a half. And with that we're wrapping today's episode. I hope you find this informative and if you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Chico Singal, peace!